I'm going to show you how to create the uh, end plate connection between the uh, column and the beam. Okay, so uh, I'll extract the beam here and then create default views of part. And then I'm going to select one view, let's say this front view. Okay, from here, I can make it control to so that it will be transparent view. And then I'm going to add now the uh, end plate here using my beam plate. <coughs> so here, I'll choose the, uh, I'll uh, rename this one as uh, end plate. And then plate, uh, let's say 20, plate 20 by uh, the width of the uh, plate will be according to the uh, width of the flange. So enable for me to check the width of the flange. I can just simply inquire part and then as you can see here my flange width will be this flange 177.9 so I can round it up to 180 plus 10 and 10 it should be 200 okay so now my beam plate will be uh, again this one will be end plate then PL 20 by 200 and then let's say the color of this one will be uh, let's say 2 and I'm going to leave it as well for the meantime the position so from here pick the first position pick the first position okay it's lagging all right so it says pick first position so from here press control key and then click so that i can establish my pos the yeah. location of my plate so 10 here that one is for the welding clearance and then this one control key click and then another 10 and do not expand and there you go so this one now is my my beam plate which is the end plate so all i have to do is positioning this one middle okay and then this one will be to right or to left and if you rotate that one so i'm already in the correct position right mm -hmm. so i'll just simply uh um hide this one so that this one will be a clear view for me between the column and the beam mm -hmm. and the plate then control p to make it as a plane and then this time i'm going to use the fit part and select the beam and then and there you go now for the welding welding is as simple as simply select the uh, beam and then select the plate and that's it it's welded or if you want to change the welding size just double click the welding symbol and then here you can say work around and then uh, you can choose here the size of the pillar this one is above line means it's far side so i can just simply click none and then i will just put the fillet here and then type six here and then this one will be zero and then that one will be a near side in the symbol uh the reason why i put that one that will be the symbol that i am going to get when i create the drawing later okay so that's why you can uh, you can uh, uh set up the the welding from the model itself before creating the the drawing okay so now i'm going to uh, add the uh, the bolt so i can also add the bolt in this view or i can put also the the bolt in the other view so let's say i'm go uh, le let's do the uh, the bolt in this view first okay uh, remember uh, here i need to have an intersection here so that I'm sure that the bolt will be started from the top of the beam. Okay, so all I have to do is to use my construction point, uh, projected points on line, and then 
select this line and then click this point so that I can project the point uh, to make it sure that that one is the top of the uh, beam. All right, so for the bolt, again, go to the steel. You can see here the bolt and then it will open the bolt properties. So for the bolt properties, you, you will find that there is a size which is 20 millimeter uh, dia bolt. And then the standard is 8.x, 8.8xox, or you can choose a different standard here, here like uh, 8325n and so on. Okay, so we'll use the default bolt type, site, or workshop. So site it means it's a loose bolt, and then you bolt that one on the site. If it is workshop, then it will be tightened on your uh, factory, and then when they deliver, it's bolted. Of course, this one cannot be done as a shop bolt because it means you're going to deliver the, the column mm. and the beam together. Yeah. So don't do that one. Okay, so connect as a secondary part, uh, uh, thread in, in uh, material, so cut length 100, we just, we just use the default. So here it will create the bolt with a washer and nut. Okay, if you want two washers, then, then you have to click on this one. If you want to have two nuts, then you have to click again another nut. And then bolt shape array zero. For the meantime, I'm going to uh, use it uh, uh, zero, zero. Okay, zero, zero. For the meantime, huh? so that uh, le let's see how we're going to, uh, how the bolt will react if we add the value on it. Okay, I will, uh, I will show that one to you. Now, the tolerance 2, that one is always 2. <coughs> Why? Uh, if your bolt is 20 millimeter dia bolt, then you have a 2 millimeter, uh, uh, what do you call that, bigger, uh, for the hole, 2 millimeter tolerance. Okay, 1 millimeter, 1 millimeter. Okay, and uh, yeah, so there is also an option to the, for the slotted hole here, if you want to have a slotted hole for the uh, for the part, let's say for the plunge or for the uh, uh, plate, and these are the rotation. Okay, so we're going to touch this one later once I added the uh, uh, the bolt. So pick the part to bolt to. Okay, so let's say I'm going to pick on the column, and then pick the part to be bolted. Let's say this plate. And then middle button of your mouse. If you have another plate, then pick that plate because the, it will be bolt according to the uh, to the part that you have selected. So if you have two or more plates, then you you need to pick that one one by one. But at this point of time, I have only two uh, part. And then so once I pick the column and then the uh, um, the plate, then I need to click the middle button of my mouse. And then pick the first position. So this is my first position. And then the second position will be somewhere here or on this line. Okay? So I'm going to click here anyway. And there you go. So as you notice, the, because this one is my plane, then my bolt is positioned that way, which is wrong. Okay? But doesn't matter because that one is just a positioning. Let me correct it. So from here, Rotation, because that one is in front, I will just simply click on top and then enter. So now I'm in the correct position. Right? It's in the correct position. Or if you want to have a, if you want to make it uh, below, so it will be on the other side. The nut will be on the other side. It's your choice. Okay? Sometimes you don't have the, what do you call that, space to nut the bolt on the right side, then you have to change the, the position of the bolt, okay, in the erection. So uh, now in this case, uh, if you notice, I have only one, one bolt here. Why? Because if you look onto the bolt group, the bolt distance x is zero, zero. Okay, look, remember, remember, when you create the bolt, okay, the, the, the position where you pick the first point and second point, that will be uh, automatically become the x direction, x distance. When I pick the bolt from the top to the bottom, that will be automatically the x distance. Remember that one. Look, 
if I add this x distance to uh, 70 for the pitch of the boat or yeah for the pitch of the boat 70 look what will happen so I have the 70 for the gauge of the boat let's say I want to have a 100 gauge okay I'll type 100 to the boat distance y enter so I have now the gauge 100 okay so that one will be 100 now how about the first distance from the top that 80 the 80 from the top of the beam how I'm going to establish that first whole distance so all I have to do is to go down here on the start dx and then I type 80 and then enter so you have now the 80 70 pitch and then with 100 gauge all right if you want to add more pitch let's say uh, let's say I want 70 70 and 70 all we have to do is to just simply add to the bolt distance what X let's say 3 times 70 enter so you have now this 70 70 70 this one X earlier it's 70 right mm -hmm. so if you want to add because this one is a big beam so this seven uh, this uh, two rows of bolt is not enough so we can uh, we can add more bolt here so you can just simply type here 70 space 70 space 70 and then enter so it's it's also 3 times 70 because this one is a distance list you can you can have a different distances here let's say 70 space 100 space 70 look what will happen so as you can see here 70 170 because that one is a distance list okay mm -hmm. or 3 times 70 and there you go so you have now the end plate connection between the column and the beam all right